Hello, I'm JW, and a quick update on that TV receiver that I did a video on last week. And a few people did have some various comments about it, so let's have a look at those. Now, the software that came with it, although it did work and display the various channels, it was a bit crap, and unsurprisingly, of course, because it was essentially for free, and it was about a six-year-old version of something you can still buy. But um, James McBride actually suggested that uh, if we have uh, Windows Media Center, we could try setting it up in there. So uh, that's exactly what we've done, and it actually works uh, perfectly in there. And as you can see, we've got all the uh, channels with the uh, correct uh, names and numbers in there. And uh, if you scroll down, there's all the others in the correct order, just as you expect with the uh, television. So that works perfectly. And uh, obviously, you can also do the uh, recording and uh, pausing and all that kind of thing, which you would expect. So um, if we just uh, stuff that on there, we'll see that uh, picture comes in just fine. That's the uh, news or something in there. So uh, as you see, no problem there whatsoever. The uh, remote control that came with it does not work with this because obviously it was designed for that other software, so uh, not really surprising. But uh, certainly in terms of uh, working, I mean, there's no uh, problem with that at all. So if we just sort of pick another channel there, so it will uh, switch over. No problem whatsoever. There does seem to be a minor delay when you actually change the channel to uh, another one, but uh, once it's got past that, it seems to be uh, perfectly fine. So the sort of initial start seems to be a bit uh, wonky, but then it runs perfectly well. So certainly no problem with that. Uh, let's just uh, move that out of the way so we don't get uh, too much of a copyright slap on that one. So uh, yeah, so Windows Media Center, that was already installed on this uh, system anyway, so it was just went into a question of uh, scanning through for the uh, various channels, and uh, that was it. So uh, no real uh, extra setup required in that, so I obviously got rid of that uh, Blaze, uh, whatever it was called, other software, because obviously that was uh, pretty useless. And uh, a couple of other comments were that uh, someone asked, uh, does it get hot when it's in use? Uh, well, the answer is no, it doesn't. I've actually had it running for several hours, and the uh, little USB thing it doesn't even get warm, so uh, certainly no problems with that. And uh, Chris Lambert uh, said uh, that they uh, bought the same item from the same seller on eBay and uh, could never get it to work. Well, that's quite likely because uh, I can't imagine that uh, quality control on an item that's uh, retailing for less than five pounds is going to be particularly high. So. Uh, Fortunately, we've got one here that does work, but uh, obviously uh, that's certainly not guaranteed if you uh, go and buy the thing. And of course, that's the risk with buying uh, excessively cheap items and having them sent in directly from China. And of course, even if it doesn't work, yes, in theory, you could obviously return it. But of course, in reality, uh, returning it's going to cost more than the item is worth anyhow. So uh, certainly buyer beware, but uh, obviously that's the reason it's very cheap. So not necessarily going to get uh, exactly what you intended every time. And uh, Photon Panda, obviously, uh, all went along this line with uh, saying they got their show great deals and not a garbage and read the reviews before buying. Well, certainly, definitely the case, and it's uh, definitely a case of buyer beware in the case of not having uh, any reviews, or even if some of the reviews are on there, some of them might not be uh, quite as genuine as you might imagine. Now, the thing itself didn't have much of a uh, description with it or even on it, but um, in the uh, device manager here, see it's uh, set up in there. And it's describing it as a IT9135 BDA device. So uh, that's obviously the chip or whatever inside the thing. So that may well be, obviously be used in other similar devices. So uh, there it is. Doesn't really tell you a great deal about it. Now, although the actual description claimed it was high definition, it doesn't appear to receive uh, high definition things, certainly not here in the UK anyway, as the uh, transmitter we're uh, receiving from does have some high definition channels on it. But uh, this uh, device and the Windows Media Center, unfortunately, don't show any of those. But uh, there we go. It's uh, just badly described in that case. And another comment said, try it in Linux. Um, unfortunately, I haven't used uh, any Linux on the desktop for over 10 years, so I'm well out of date with that. So I can uh, certainly do things on the uh, command line, but obviously that's no good for a uh, television viewing application. Um, uh, I believe it can be used with that, and say that BDA, whatever the uh, code number was, uh, should work in that, uh, but so I don't have uh, actual things here to try that with, so unfortunately can't be doing that. So that's uh, just a quick update on the uh, Banggood uh, television receiver, and say uh, it does work, and it still, of course, is working. And if you do get one of those, it's just you uh, sling the uh, software that came with it away, and either use the uh, Windows Media Center or the equivalent on whatever system you might have, as that's clearly going to be a lot better and uh, certainly uh, a bit more up to date. So until next time. Thanks for watching.